back. I have a tutorial for you today. I got this amazing pigment from the makeup show last week and it was like this purple with a like a turquoise dual, dual crumb so I really wanted to use it in a tutorial today so this is the look I came up with I tied in the sparkle the, the turquoise sparkle from the pigment in with like a turquoise eyeshadow and I just I'm kind of everywhere with this look you'll see if you're interested in learning how I got this look and all the products that I use then just keep watching Alright, guys we're gonna start naked face we're gonna do it all browse everything so I'm going to start with my urban decay vitamin and fruit fuse complexion prep spray the b6 shake it up spray it all over today I'm going to use my Sigma F80 Kabuki take a little bit of that that spray and I'm going to put it right on the brush and then I'm going to use my NARS sheer glow foundation in Mont Blanc which is light too all I use one simple pump now that I have the NARS pump it is so much easier I have some spots on my face. I will be using my NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Da -da, right here, 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 on my under eye as well. I'm going to use this Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush because I am really liking this right now. And just softly blend it with this brush. I'm really enjoying the way this brush um, actually blends out concealer. Okay, I'm going to use my Serenity and Scott, you know it, you know it. I'm going to use my Serenity and Scott uh, Pressed Powder Foundation in Fairest. I'm going to grab my Inglot 4SS and just tap it into the, the powder foundation. And then we're going to press it on the under eye. Okay, and I'm going to take um, another brush. This is this, this is the Senna Powder Point Brush and it's kind of a tulip brush. And I'm just going to sweep the powder foundation on the rest of the face. Okay, today I've actually been um, using some new products that I got. I've been using the Young Blood Brow Artist Sculpting Pencil, and this is in the color blonde. And it looks like this. It kind of has an angled, you see it has like an angled tip. It's a little bit wider than the Anastasia, and I've been just kind of keeping the brows a little bit messy lately. I'm going to use Max Painterly Paint Pot and we're going to put that underneath the brow. This morph color and this is 03. It's just like this creamy beige. You know, we're going to use this as our highlight shade. And we're going to go right underneath the eyebrow with that. Now I'm going to use this morph color in 57, which is this light. It's oh, like a peachy pink and I'm going to use uh, uh, an E40 by Sigma. Sweep that into the crease and we're going to use this as our transition shade. Now I'm going to take this intense turquoise. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is number 41. Uh, I Morph shadow number 41. This is the Coastal Sense 250 and we're going to put this on the deepest part of the crease. See how the green meets the pink and it kind of just turns this light lavender-y kind of color. Okay, we're going to kind of leave that for now. We're going to come back to that. Uh, now I'm going to go into this Magnolia pigment, which is amazing. It is called Twinkle. It's got a really nifty little sift top just like that, which I give this company a lot of credit for doing that because MAC doesn't do that. And then you just want to tap some of that pigment right into the cap. You can see that color. Oh, so beautiful. Actually, I think I'm going to do the lower lid first. Yeah, let's do the lower lid first. All right, I'm going to take this Urban Decay pencil in flip side, and I'm going to line the lower lash line. I'm just going to take a little smudgy brush. This is a Royal Line Nickel brush, and I'm going to smudge around that out. And I'm bringing the, the smudge just a little bit lower than I normally would. Now I'm just going to take some of that turquoise color, and I'm going to run that onto the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the pencil brush and I'm going to bring that into the crease. Just to intensify that turquoise. Blend this green a little bit. I'm going to take a tiny bit more of that pink and we're going to add the littlest amount back to the edge. I'm going to grab this glitter glue by Too Faced and I'm going to use this as my primer in the center of the lid. Tap this 
wherever I'm going to add that pigment because the pigment has glitter in it. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this pigment on that same finger, tap off the excess and just press it right on. So beautiful. Now that that pigment is on and I look like a friggin' animal, we're gonna fix this now. Yeah! Okay. See what I did? Learn from my mistake. I don't know why I did my foundation first. I thought I could control it. I didn't. I'm an idiot. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with the clean blending, blending brush. We're gonna just clean up this edge. Okay, so to kind of blend in the, pur the purple pigment a little bit, I'm gonna take this Morphe eyeshadow in 59. It's kind of like a dark plum. I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm going to bring that on the edges of where the purple was. I feel like this looks really patchy and it's kind of annoying me to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this green a little bit. See if I can't kind of resolve the issue I'm having with this eyeshadow with the green. I'm gonna use this. This is the Senna eyeliner I was telling you guys about. I'm going to do the upper and lower water lines in my NARS uh, Larger Than Life eyeliner in Via Veneto. And after I put the black in the lower water line, I'm just going to take that smudgy brush and I'm going to smudge that in just a little bit. My Clump Crusher Mascara by CoverGirl. We're going to load those lashes up, but we're going to put on some false lashes too. So we're going to do the bottom lashes with my Clump, um, my, uh, my Clinique Bottom Lash as always. I'm going to add a little bit of that peachy pink to warm that middle part up right there. And then I'm going to take this color here, and this is by MAC. This is Navel. And I'm going to wiggle this in right past the tip of the wing here. And we're going to deepen up that crease a little bit. I just want to add a little bit more dimension because I feel like I lost a little bit of the dimension in this eyeshadow look somewhere along the way. Okay, we're going to do lashes now. I'm going to use these Flutter lashes. This is what they look like. They're super full and pretty. I just have to go in and make a few final touches. I'm going to take Carbon by MAC, which is black eyeshadow, and I'm going to put that on the lash line just to kind of, you know, make it more solid because I'm finding that today that I'm having a little bit of difficulty. Today I'm having a little bit of difficulty making my eyeliner really just look tied in, if that makes sense. The black shadow on the lash line is just making it look a little bit more neat. And lastly, I'm just going to take that first pencil brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that turquoise, I'm going to run that underneath the lower lash line, just to kind of liven that color back up, because I feel like I lost a little bit of that. Okay, so since I'm an idiot and I put on my foundation first, I have to go in and clean up my under eyes. So I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer, and we're going to just add a little bit more of that onto the under eyes. I'm going to set my under eyes again with my Strategy and Scott Press Powder. How gorgeous are these lashes? Um, oh, I didn't never told you what these were. These are the Flutter Lashes in Stella. Now I'm going to take my uh, NYX Blush and Taupe. We're going to do some contouring. Just a little bit. You guys are probably like, I never think this is going to end. I know this is like a never ending tutorial. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this absolutely gorgeous blush by Serenity and Scott. I will put the color down below. I'm going to take my stipple brush. It's a beautiful neutral blush. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Their blushes are gorgeous. As if I need to be more obsessed with their makeup company, like, really. For my highlight, I want to keep it kind of dewy, but not, you know, like, super crazy. So I'm going to use my MAC Cream Color Base in Shell. And I just take my two fingers and I pat it here. And it gives your skin, like, a nice dewy look without um, looking frosty, if that makes sense. And then you just kind of 
pat it out. I'm going to take a tiny bit of that on the tip of my finger and just pop that right at the highest part of the arch underneath my brow bone. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to go for like a pinkish nude. It's NYX uh, Pinky Beige. It's one of those uh, retractable lip liners. I'm just going to kind of fill in the lips with that. Okay, and so that's very nude, so I'm going to add a little bit more color on with this lip gloss. Now, this is the Whitening Lightening Lip Gloss in Pink Tiara, which is oh, so beautiful. And you guys, their lip glosses are sick. Like, they're so good. All right, so add a little bit of color. Don't even really need the lip liner, but I just really wanted to, I don't know, define my lips extra. And that's how it looks with the pink lips. Uh, I think that the eyes are so strong I wanted to keep the lips a little neutral. If you wanted to go for more of a neutrally beige um, nude lip, you could do that too. Okay guys, so as much as I like this pink, like, I do like this pink, but you guys know I like more beige nudes. I want to try a beige nude on, so let's try, let's try something else. Originally I was going to try to go for Flesh Pot, but it's just really, really nude. And I, I like Flesh Pot, I'm glad I got it, but... It is dang nude, and for this look, I'm thinking a little bit more, I don't know, beige. So, I'm going to go with Blankety by MAC that looks like this. Yeah, I instantly like it better. I love that pink gloss, but it was just too much for this look in particular. And then I'm going to throw a little bit of this nude gloss on. I, I know, I know, I'm like a promo right now. Uh, I love this Whitening Lightning uh, gloss in nude, so I'm going to put this right on top. Just like a little extra gloss. You can't tell me that this color combination isn't like insane. Seriously, Blankety by MAC and that, that, that gloss by Whitening Lightning, yeah. Okay guys, well this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. There was a lot of back and forth with this tutorial. I had a little bit of difficulty. I think it was the primer and then I had difficulty with the lashes, although I'm absolutely obsessed with these lashes now that they're on. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys recreate this, please tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you post your picture because I would love to see it. Uh, I will have all of the products I use listed below for you guys. And um, if you like this look, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.